between the two GoPros that we unboxed last week and the Surface Pro that we're going to be unboxing today, it feels like a tech guru's Christmas up in this. What is going on everybody? Welcome to another tech unbox video. Yep, you heard that correctly. We're going to be unboxing and doing a quick impressions of the Microsoft Surface Pro 7. Since there isn't really much more to explain, let's just jump right in. So here it is, the Microsoft Surface Pro. This is the 7 and this is a bundle package where we've got the Surface Pro, we've got the type cover and also the Surface Pen. So let's go ahead and dig these out of the box. So there's the Surface Pro. You can see there is the type cover. And then we've got the pen right in here as well. So sliding that box over and uh, looking at the specs right here, you can see we've got the 10th generation Intel Core i7 processor, 512 gigabyte solid state drive and 16 gigabytes of RAM. So this thing is quite a powerhouse. We'll take the top part of the box off and right there, nothing underneath the lid, but here is the Surface Pro. And you can see, of course, it's got a cover on it, but it shows you where the ports are. You've got the power button, you've got your volume switches, microphone, camera, another microphone. This does have a dual uh, far field microphone array system. And then it does have a USB type C and a USB type A, which is really nice. And then of course, you've got the power uh, input right over there. So we're gonna go ahead and pull on this. This will bring out the actual tablet itself. Flipping it around, really not much to it. You got the Windows logo. And of course, this does have the kickstand back because of course it is a Surface. And then it does look like you've also got a camera camera on the back side of as well. If you wanted to do some type of like video conferencing or whatever, you've got a camera on the front and back. Looks like just some uh, manual instructions. You got your charger and everything in there, right there. And it is a magnetic charger. So when you put it on the side, kind of like the uh, Max do where it's the mag. So that is gonna do it for this box. A tab that you just pull on the side right over here. Once you've got that, that should just slide out. Again, type cover. This of course will fold over the screen, but it's also got a built-in trackpad. You see, we'll just slide that out and there's the Surface Pen with another tab. That's pretty much it for the unboxing. You've got the Surface Pro, you've got the type cover and the pen. We're gonna go through just some first quick impressions of how the pen feels and then just an overall look of the Surface Pro. So I wanted to cover some of the basic tech specs just because I know there's some tech gurus out there that really like to know what type of specs are in these things down to exactly what they are. What they are. So in this case, this particular model does have the Intel Core i7, specifically the Core i7 106 5G7. It does have 16 gigs of DDR4 as well as a 512 solid state drive. The only problem is, is these are not removable. So if they burn out, you cannot remove the solid state drive like you can in the 10. The display is a 12.3 inch screen with a three to two aspect ratio and 2736 by 1824 resolution with a pixel per inch of 267. Does have a one USB 3.0 slash 3.1 uh, display port and a USB type sensor as well as Bluetooth 5.0. And of course it does have a primary camera of eight megapixel and the secondary camera coming in at five megapixels. Attaching or detaching the type cover to the Surface Pro was really easy to do as it has some super strong magnets. All you need to do is kick out the kickstand on the Surface Pro, line up the connections on the keyboard and the Surface Pro itself, and then once you get within range, the magnets are basically gonna jump that thing into place, making it a super solid connection. And then of course, to detach it, you just simply pull them apart. Now, quick disclaimer, this is the first time that I have used a Microsoft Surface Pro in the history of ever. But the one thing that I did notice right off the bat is on how snappy and responsive this little thing was. Opening up windows, moving programs, opening programs, etc., was all super quick and responsive. The Surface Pen setup is really easy to do as well. Once you've got everything powered on and ready to go and you bring out the Surface Pen, you're gonna get a prompt on screen that's asking you to choose whether you're left or right-handed. Once you've selected that, it's then going to have you click and hold the top of the pen in order to put it into Bluetooth pairing mode because once you've got it into Bluetooth pairing mode, you're then going to be able to use the shortcut on top which will allow you to open up different programs depending on if you're clicking once or clicking twice. Now, typically the main reason to purchase a Microsoft Surface Pro is either because they're doing some heavy note taking. Of course, they want the smaller form factor, but they also may be doing some graphical slash drawing type of work. So having the Surface Pen and understanding how that works and how it feels is a really important piece. Now, I will say that I have not used any type of previous versions of the Surface Pen, so I don't really have anything to compare against those. I'm just going off of what my first First impressions were with this type of pen. I really enjoyed using the S Pen, although I wasn't able to get the tilt function to work within the Microsoft whiteboard. 
Others are saying that you need to use a pencil style brush where in here it's all just pen style brushes. And it also could be just user error because I do know that this Surface Pen does support it. It says it right here on the back of the box that it does support tilt with of course supported Surface devices. And from what I've read is the Surface Pro does support tilt. So it's probably just a user error. In any case, going through and writing with the actual pen felt very accurate and very natural. I was actually quite blown away. And then of course, once you've got something written on there, you've got a few different buttons. The side button here, if you hold that down, you can choose a marquee, which will allow you to select an area and you can either copy it, cut it, or delete it. Another cool feature is on the back here, if you turn the pen over, it actually acts as an eraser as if it were a pencil, which I thought was pretty cool. And of course, the faster that you erase, the larger the eraser becomes. So if we start really slow or really light, you can see that it's really small. And as we move faster, the erase brush will get larger to erase it as well. Overall first impressions of the Surface Pro 7 are absolutely solid. This thing with the i7 and 16 gigabytes of RAM is an absolute powerhouse when it comes to any type of small form factor computing. Now, if I were in the market to end up replacing a laptop or something of that sort, the Microsoft Surface Pro 7 would definitely have my attention. Now, of course, I will have the product information for the Surface Pro 7, the type cover, and the Surface Pen in the video description below. This is an affiliate link, and should you choose to purchase one through that link, we do receive a little bit of commission, which does help support the channel. And on that note, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and that you got something out of it. If you did, be sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Of course, enable that bell icon should you choose to be notified when we do some future uploads, and we will see you all on the next one. Laters.